section Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 it says the labor of the foolish there is such a person the Bible identifies as the foolish it's not supposed to be an insultive statement is a description of a kind of person the labor of the foolish weary at every one of them the Bible says because he knoweth not how to go to the city because he knoweth not how to go to the city one last scripture Jeremiah 6 and verse 16 Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 it says thus saith the Lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old part where is the good way and walk therein he says and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein the Lord bless the readings of his word in Jesus name there is a path that leads to glory and grace this is just a charge and then we'll get to the impartation there is a path that leads to glory and grace that any individual whatsoever who chooses to follow and walk in keeping with that path the Bible already predicts the end of that person's life, glory and grace. But there is also a path that leads to failure and leads to defeat. Unfortunately, this seems to be the way that many have chosen to follow. They have chosen to navigate the course of their destinies along this unfortunate path. And many of them keep wondering why their lives are a plethora of failures, pain, regret, and so on and so forth the difference between an excelling life and a life of defeat is the knowledge that you have or the knowledge that you lack let me take that again the difference between a life that produces glory and grace and power and enviable destiny as we call it and one that captures within its experience failure defeat pain regret sadness is the knowledge that you have the bible says in hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 my people are destroyed they are my people and yet they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge the lack of knowledge the lack of knowledge hallelujah the difference between structured knowledge and random knowledge because in as much as knowledge is important it is not every kind of knowledge that translates to profit please let me your attention it is not every kind of knowledge that translates to profit knowledge must be organized it must be distilled it must be served with excellence to translate to profit knowledge must be organized it must be distilled that means sense separated from nonsense and it must be served with excellence to profit now there are many people who have recognized their need for knowledge they have come as far as knowing that ignorance is costly but their approach to acquiring knowledge still leaves them in the valley of the shadow of death and pain and defeat so you find people pursuing random knowledge, knowledge that is not coherent, knowledge that is not organized, knowledge that is not constructively received. This is where the value of schools like the Koinonia School of Ministry comes in. The key, the difference between random knowledge that does not translate to profit and organized knowledge that turns to power is training. Training is the platform that allows an individual who has recognized his or her need for knowledge to approach it in such a way and a manner that it translates to power, it translates to profit. Are we following now? This is just a charge tonight. So the Bible says that the labor of the foolish, the foolish in this example is not a lazy foolish person. He's just a foolish person with no methodical guidance, no methodical growth, no methodical knowledge. And so he goes around trying to do anything he or she feels will produce results. And the Bible says the labor of such a person, weary at every one of them, because he knoweth not how. He knows that there should be a way to the city. He's come as far as knowing that there is a city, but he does not know how 
to go to the city hallelujah so a quick recap i said that there is a path that leads to glory and grace there is a path that leads to defeat and failure and that both parts depend on the abundance of knowledge or the absence of the same and that in pursuing knowledge you are not given the liberty to cherry pick or random pick any information as convenient there is an exact organized body of truth that translates to victory there is an exact organized body of truth that translates to spiritual power. There is an organized exact body of truth that translates to superior leadership. There is an organized exact body of truth that translates to influence, translates to glory, translates to prosperity, translates to a life of purpose and meaning. Many believers, unfortunately, and most recorded across almost every society, seem to be lacking in this understanding that their knowledge if it must be profitable it must be organized it must be coordinated it must be distilled and it must be served with excellence this is the advantage of training training sustains the ability to provide methodical mentorship methodical mentorship knowledge that would have been distilled through years of pain trial and error sacrifice the privilege of mentorship you would have come to a point where the knowledge that is served you is not a guesswork the knowledge that is served you is not some some experiment going on that you have come into a point where you can receive distilled organized productive knowledge hallelujah very quickly let me show you four things that mentorship provides mentorship number one provides useful and superior knowledge mentorship provides useful and superior knowledge knowledge that translates to efficiency mentor number one i repeat provides useful and superior knowledge i have learned by mentorship myself and by experience that not every kind of knowledge is useful as far as destiny actualization is concerned there are many people in our world especially our arrogant world that pride in the acquisition of information information that has failed to translate to power has failed to translate to development unfortunately this is true for individuals families even nations there are nations that pride in having so much resource, you know, a, a bank of resources, but then we're not able to see these resources translate to advancement, translate to power, and then to bring to individuals a life of grace and a life of dignity.